So we have a new update available for Rising OS and this time it's version 5.1. This is another new update. Some of the more changes, new features, everything is there in this one. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. This is version 5.1. I've installed it on my device, which is Poco F5. By the way, this is a community build. Official build is also coming very soon, at least while making this video. And if you're watching this video later on, maybe the official version is already there. Let's have a quick look at some of the changes here. Quickly move on to toolbox, backup and restore settings. We have a new menu available for the backup and restore settings and now you have the option to take a backup and also you have the option to upload the backup to drive. In the previous version when I made a video already on, the thing was the option to take a backup was already there but uploading the backup to Google Drive, this feature was not there, it's here now. And I will simply suggest all the other custom room developers if you are watching this video, especially if you are a developer of any of the custom rooms, like which is having a lot of customizations, a lot of features. I definitely recommend to add this feature because backing up all the settings and customizations is a very useful thing. Like if your custom room has a lot of customizations, it's sometimes it's not that easy to find out that particular customization which I which I did or which I just want to do again. This could be a very useful thing. Extras have this new feature named as Cache Cleaner. It was also not there in the previous update, but with this new update, it's there. It will simply enable the Cache Cleaner service to automatically clear app cache. So whenever you open this, app cache will be cleaned as far as I know. I guess this is also available as an Android app. And I think so, I made a video on that one too. Other than else, let me show you some other things. You can see this is also a new menu because we were talking about some menu changes. This is there. Also, if you move on to the extra options, you will see new menus there. A lot of changes are here in the terms of UI, which is not bad. And this is available in some other things too. Like I also find quick switch, by the way, that this is a community version which I'm using right now. So a lot of minor differences you will get here in the, as compared to the official one, but that's completely okay. Quick switch, you already know that by default you have three launchers available in rising os moving on to the theming options once again the quick settings panel has a thing let me show you if i move on to quick settings widgets here you know quick setting widgets are already implemented here but i'll show you something else here in this case let me show you let me try to enable this thing once and after that it will not if it is not applied successfully if it is not applied instantly what you can do is you can try out any other thing and also by the way you can simply restart your system ui this will simply solve this thing so as you can see it's done my system ui is now restarted and this is the quick settings panel right now let me try to configure it properly columns at four or five whatever suits you for example this is the one i have if i try to choose five this also looks good i guess if i open this thing this is it the major major thing was if you click here you will be opened you will be they were prompted with this one but if you hold there then this will be redirected to this internet section where you have the wi-fi settings available so long pressing the internet tile will simply open the wi-fi settings this is the difference this is a change which you have in version 5.1 Personally speaking, I guess it's a good thing because most of the time when I use Rising OS 5.0, this was an issue for me to open the Wi-Fi settings, but it's finally here. So that's a good thing too. Some of these quite underrated things. Also, the settings UI has this new menu and the option to show the device showcase widget. It was not there in the previous update. If you're using the previous version, you already got to know. If I try to choose the rising UI 2.0 already, and if I disable this device showcase widget, this is the settings UI which you have right now. The about phone UI is about phone section is missing from here and it was there by default enabled. But with this new update in version 5.1, the about phone widget or about phones widget basically in the settings app is now available as an option. So if you want to enable this, this kind of UI, if you want to enable this, you can. If you don't want that, you can simply disable this thing. That is also a great thing too. One more thing is if I move on to personalization section once again, and if I move on, sorry, if I move on to sound section, sorry, sound engine, you will find in the previous update, you have some profiles available, music, game, audio, I guess. But in this case, we have sound base boost level and sound loudness gain. So this is basically an equalizer now. It was previously with some profiles, but with this new update, we have an equalizer available. 
and i guess this is also a good change actually so yes they are changing a lot of things here other than else as expectedly let me show you that bootloader is locked so yes that is also one of the main highlights this one if you open this thing bootloader will be locked you will be i mean you will be able to notice that you can install all the banking apps you can use all the banking apps but by the way all these things will work without rooting your device if you root your device things might be changed in your case but it's not a big deal it's one of the best things right now if you want to try it out link is there in the description this is it thanks for watching hope you like this video i'll see you in the next one until then take care